My name is Brian. I am 13 years old and I'm a big phobia of darkness because I always have a feeling that I have been watched by someone and they will eventually come and get me if I stare them back with my both eyes. That's why I always turn my bedroom light on when I sleep and turn it off in the morning. One day, our village blacked out in the middle of the night. I shocked. I was playing my pawn that time. My parents was already asleep and I'm the only one who still awoke. I feared in tears and quickly turned off my pawn and sleep under my blanket. Then, finally I fell asleep. But everything is going more terrible when after an hour later, at around 3 am, that's when something really terrified awakened me up. I heard a girl voice laughing standing in front of my bed. I really scared. I feel like my heart beating so fast and I try to scream but I can't move every part of my body. I can't even talk. My body was stiff. Then, my heart felt like it's going to explode when my blanket was being pulled down by that thing. I started to get pale. My whole body sweating and I struggled to move my leg but failed. I don't really wanted to open my eyes that time. I feel like I would rather do anything than went through that kind of situation. It was the next level that when I feel a cold pale hand covering my mouth, I feel like I'm gonna die that time. That was the worst situation ever that I'll never forget on my whole life. Still struggled to move my whole body but failed. I can't even move my little finger. Then I heard someone knock on my door and that's when I feel really ease and get cried when my mom opened my bedroom door and called my name. I feel like my whole body can now move and that thing start to get his hand out of my mouth. I opened my eyes and ran into my mom and hugged her. I cried and tell my mom about what was happened and I was so scared. My mom shocked and she asked me to sleep next to them. This is not the end of the story. The next morning, I asked my mom why did she went to my bed at that night. And she told me that she was about to get some water that time because she was so thirsty. But she heard a creepy voice like a little girl laughing in my bedroom so she felt something strange and went to my bed. I petrify and believe that that thing might be something a real devil. My fear enveloped my feelings. Then I cried begging my parents to move to a new house and gladly my parents agreed to me.